Derek, out of the FA Cup first round stage, replay, what are your thoughts on what you're seeing tonight? I mean, I thought we did really well in the, the first 90 minutes of the game. We controlled, you know, large aspects of the game. We had, you know, some really good opportunities. You know, Levi Sutton, you know, threw one and one with the goalkeeper. Could he have gone round him and slotted at home? We probably had a penalty kick shout uh, when Levi goes through. Elliot Watt hits the bar and, uh, you know, Folsey has a, a header at the back post. And that was in that, you know, 90 minute spell where um, I thought we, we were the better team. Um, we get into two extra time. Um, Leon Gall gets himself sent off. We lose a goal in the counter attack. We take a poor free kick and we get counter attacked. And Jay does what he does. He's one of the best players in the division. He's something different and he scores a fantastic goal. And then you know the second goal we could do better. We, we don't deal well with the cross. And then we have enough bodies in the box to clear it. But their player Atangana gets in and, and scores. And the, the, the third goal when we were down to ten men. Uh, you know, Jay, you know, scores well, but over the tie, um, we're hugely disappointed to go out. We feel that um, in the 90 minutes, in the first game, we should be through, but um, we haven't taken our opportunities when they've come along, and uh, that's the reason we're out. Given the 90 minutes tonight, as you've discussed, uh, a lot of control over large parts of it, how disappointing was what followed? Can you put your finger on any one thing that, that started what followed and the three goals and the sending off and everything else? Yeah, we took a bad free kick. You know, the free kick was, was low, uh, it got knocked out, and, uh, you know, Jay counter-attacked us. Um, Leanne Gall gets sent off after that, then, you know, they're playing with their, their tails up and uh, it gives us a huge uh, hill to climb. And I think that... Uh, we had a, a few players, you know, struggling with knocks. We had to take them off, and um, in the end, we, we just didn't have enough in extra time to, to get anything. How much does it say about the importance of, as you've mentioned, not only in the first game but today in the first half and in the second half as well, taking your chances when you are on top? Because when you don't, sometimes it comes back to bite you. We can see three goals. We have players injured and one sent off as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, I spoke about it, you know, throughout the season. Um, we need players to, to score goals from you know a variety of areas and uh, you know midfield strikers uh, set plays and we've not really got a player like Jay in our team that uh, does something out of nothing and we need one of these players that uh, is going to do that you would hope that you've got one inside your group that player you know needs to step out now and uh, be the player and uh, you know we've got players coming back from injury which will obviously help us Lee get, getting sent off tonight doesn't help us uh, but um, you know we'll We'll see what, uh, I'll check the, the rule book because, you know, we had two bookings tonight and sometimes the, they're competition specific and, uh, you know, it might be OK for Saturday, but I'll have to, you know, obviously check that out. In terms of positives, you obviously mentioned Aboisa back on the field for the first time since the beginning of the season. Plenty of good performances and obviously chances over the course of the two fixtures in 90 minutes to have won those games, I guess, going into... The rest of the campaign now that it's just league games, it's plenty of giving, giving you plenty to think about and be positive about. Yeah, of course, but you know, you're always disappointed to go out with the FA Cup. We feel that we should have been through in the first game, but um, we haven't uh, been able to get the better of the opposition, and uh, we haven't, you know, defended well after going down to ten men tonight. But in the end, you know, we've gone extra time tonight. We've got to get ourselves prepared for another tough game, which is Northampton on Saturday. We've played a lot of tough games recently uh, and uh, competed well. Just a final word tonight on the supporters, 76 of them, eight, ten-hour round trip probably on a, on a Tuesday night. It's a, a good effort for them and a word on them. Yeah, what, what I will say is you know, this stayed to the final whistle and uh, I think that uh, you know, that's you know, a real loyal support because you know, there is a number of clubs that the supporters would have gone you know, out of the stadium. And, uh, but Fair play to them, you know, the, the stadium supporters is to the final whistle and that's what a true supporter does.